and welcome. I'm Civilian. We're, we're playing Children of Tyranny. Dungeons and Dragons. Fifth, fifth edition. Those things. Welcome, everyone. Last time you all got your butts kicked. But that was that oh. very... Hold on. We're still alive. That. Yep. I've we taken no all damage. of our butts kicked. Some, some members of the party are no longer with us. Mine, mine was just an act. It was all part of the great charade that is Jay. Your skill. <laughs> yes. He's lulling you into a false sense of security, Tobias, is what that is. No, I think it's a true sense of security, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> He's lulling the enemy into a false sense of security. Ah, I see. Ah, right, okay. Different so it thing. wasn't that he rolled three <laughs> ones in a row. <laughs> No, that would be unfortunate <clears throat> and a sign would... of uh, my pay-to-win dice strats. I mean, you, that is definitely evident, let's face it. <laughs> uh, you may now see the contract. I added the contract. Hmm. Uh, the gold pieces were indeed actually left blank because none of you negotiated money at nope. any point. So yeah, but they that's just a said poor person thing. They yeah, they just left that. it blank. Um, I mean, I, I was just hiding. I didn't sell my soul to anybody. That's true. You did not sign anything. We didn't sell our soul, did we? Sell our soul? Let me just read this through first. <laughs> <laughs> Check the fine print. Write in an amount in this gold piece, is the like the infinity symbol, for example. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> you can try. I feel like that should have happened. Yeah, I think I think it's a bit late now. Uh, what? Because you didn't verbally <laughs> negotiate money. No, no, we didn't. Anyway. Again, I, I, <clears throat> Virick's not very good with money anyway. At the best of times, because he's never had to deal with it. <laughs> I mean, so, I'm probably the only one in the party that's dealt with contracts before, and I wasn't there, so. That's yep. true, that's true. You know all about contracts, but you were in a tree. I wasn't, no, I wasn't <laughs> It a was tree. a bush. It, I wasn't in a bush either, thank you very much. I was making use of my excellent skills to not stand out in a crowd. You were in a strategic hiding place. Doing what you know best. <laughs> it's definitely not singing. I didn't sell my soul. Neither are we. It states specifically in here that we have not sold our soul. Mm. Once mm. again. Did you just add that? That's a different font. <laughs> <laughs> in crayon. <laughs> okay, uh, so. Congratulations, you've defeated the constructs. Hooray! Um, just trying to get Crumper back together. He's like, no, Crumper! <laughs> He's so, so fragile. So fragile. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so that's I'm mending. With my own hand. Mending or something. You may take a yes. short rest. I will do do some mending. Where's my okay. spells? Okay. You start to do some mending. Suddenly, a small raspy voice, amplified to great volume, erupts throughout the tower. There are no deliveries to be had today, only on the 5th and 20th of the month. This was the deal. Come back no further, or be in breach of the contract. Much work to accomplish. Can't be distracted. Much work, yes? Come back on the 20th or the 5th for deliveries. What? What? What's the date today? I today? imagine it's neither the, well, the 20th or the 5th. <laughs> Today is not the 5th or the 20th. <laughs> hmm. Oh no. You, you know but that's that okay. Because we're not here for deliveries. We're here for collections. Ah. There you go then. Well done. Very cool. There you go. Right. So, uh, and that was throughout the the, the, the building where we were at the yes. minute. I take it. But there was no source. No. Right. Hmm. Could right. we take a short rest? Yes, you may. <laughs> that sounds good. As you are short resting, 
the party that you met earlier and signed the contract with uh, kind of slink into the <coughs> slink into the room, like me. stick their heads in. It's clear. Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. The younger halfling woman uh, kind of takes an interest in the uh, constructs and the the parts. She sort of picks at them and starts to separate the organic parts out from the uh, construct parts. You may all and, take uh, a short rest. Excellent. Uh, Remind me what happens on a short rest. You <laughs> may spend hit die to recover hit points. Mm -hmm. I will definitely do that. I will also be doing that. How many hit die have I got left? I believe oh, you have as many as you have as your level. Just... Yes. So I've got three. I'm going to use two. Mm hmm. Yeah, you I'm can gonna... you can use them one at a time if you want as well. I might nice. I might do that. I'll have that. Why did you, did you just click on it? Yes. Oh god damn it! You suck. I'm gonna use one more. Oh, that's better. I didn't take any damage, despite being a mage that was in melee. Just want to point that out. I'm, I'm surprised okay, you I'll actually remember, remember that for next time. being in that berserk <laughs> rage you went on. We're all trying to not let you die. You What? You didn't do anything to help me. Stabbed myself in my own hands. I oh, you did. That, that reminds me. Would you like me to enchant your daggers again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, right, I don't have a lot of health, so on. Where is it? Ooh. Come on. What? Oh, there was all. Nine. Cool. Well the other thing I cheated on last time was I had too many spells, didn't I? So. Yes, so you're supposed to select which ones you have uh, prepared. And is this, is it for first level and two second level? It's, uh, it should I know where it says in the player's handbook. Uh, yeah, for slots total for for first yeah. level, two second level. I'm really glad I didn't right. have to dig out the player's handbook. Uh, we'll have that and that. And uh, that. Prayer of healing, which you tried to use before, is good for a short rest situation. Um, I think people have already spent hit dice this time if you were going to use that, but it increases your like party general endurance long-term a fair bit yeah i mean that's yeah so that's quite a good one to bear in mind for next yeah. time just because you tried to use it before mm. so it's definitely one i would have would have picked like a team that. player yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll have that. Um, go um, team uh, and since i've always used spiritual weapon I suppose I'll take that. there we go game state restored <clears throat> no i and like I say, I'll, I'll repair Crumper. I believe Mending does 2d6? Yeah, um, he gets 2d6 hit points back. Good I for will. him. Roll 2d6. Advanced dice rolls. Boom. Uh, Hooray! Nice and average. Both really good and really bad. Hmm. And Crumper's back up and running. Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Yeah, there was. I'm like, who's a good boy, Crumper? Who's a good boy? Does it, like, wiggle its little robot ass? Yes. Absolutely. And it's crazy sort of insectoid mouth mandibles. <laughs> I I will be searching the area if I can, specifically for some charcoal, incense, and herbs. Charcoal, incense, and herbs. Just randomly picked well, out of my for no reason <laughs> for no, for no reason whatsoever. You can find charcoal. You can probably no find a bit of herbs. that. But incense and herbs—that's a little bit specific. Oh, sad times. 
If I, I may pocket the charcoal for later, then. Yes. In other words, stop being meta. <laughs> You can what? find those things. What? If you're looking for those Can't things. find what you want. That's what I'm looking for. That's specifically what I am looking for. Mm. I will I that's not you. meta. That's just uh, GM ex machina if he finds it all immediately. In this room <laughs> that would not, would not contain would not them. Off. Well, I didn't expect to find them, but I had to try. Um, from, from actually getting Crumper back up and running, I'll go over to where that halfling is with the um with the with the other mechanist bit where she's mm -hmm. tearing bits off and i'm like so so what do you make of all of this then uh and she she'll kind of grumble about she, she starts going off on one about how the dead need a proper burial and she's gonna see it done ah right so you're more for the squishy bits <laughs> yes, these are these deserve a proper burial. Okay, and you're right that they, they do. I bet she enjoyed you calling them squishy bits. Really. I will. I, um, I do, would you do you need some help with this? I can see if I can get the well, actually, them disconnected. Actually, yeah. Um, and at this point, the older halfling kind of steps into the room and kind of just, just gives her gives her a, a look and just a, a stop she kind of it's fine we, we have a cleric with us he can do very cheap ceremonies to put the dead at rest if you wish uh not this dead these are abominations <laughs> she doesn't seem happy no. <laughs> no, no. I think, I think, I think she's right. These need to be put no, away says, properly. Says right, says right here. Uh, says I'm, right where. I'm leafing through one of the uh, faultless holy texts. Ah, uh, well, let's <laughs> just go with. The common decency side of things. <laughs> Look, that's, that's, I, I'll, that's not here either. I'll, I'll, I'll help disconnect the bits of the, the things, and you can no. You, burn them. you hear the voice from the older halfling. She's okay. kind of stopped what she's she's doing as well. We continue <laughs> on. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you know where we're going? Up. We're going up. Are you rested? I mean, I can go on. Everyone else? Then after you. <laughs> Excellent. Wait, Excellent. Wait, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is, I mean, is this is this the first time they've met you, though, Jay? Um, probably, yes, yeah. They haven't like, seen Jay. Who the hell is this guy? I mean. I, yeah, I'm confused. I, like, I'm still pulling my daggers out of the table in my hand and wondering why we're being ordered to do things. Why, why are we being ordered to do things by this, this, this group? Who are you? Uh, who are you? My name is Garen, and uh, I've hired these people here to help me the, locate something. These people? Yes. These, these people? It's yeah. not a very nice way to speak to people, is it? <laughs> you haven't introduced you yourself. Us, <sighs> I mean, I don't know uh, what they agreed with you, but this this doesn't seem right. Um, how, why are we here? What? I'm confused. I don't know if I took a hit to the head. Maybe well, I need to sit down. Uh, you lot, how do you know him? He's oh, there's a story. Yeah, oh, tell me about it. He's an old friend. He was here when we got here. Well, we found him on the crazy lift. Old friend. This, uh, this is our good friend Wenzel. 
Well then, Wenzel, you see, your your friends are here (laughs) under a contract for me. And um, I'm not really happy with having you here unless you are also under the same contract. What? Contract? Yes, yes. And he waves uh, the younger halfling over and she she pulls out a copy of uh, the contract that all of your friends have signed and you can see. Yeah, we totally signed that. Have you got a copy of it? Can I have a look? Yes, you can have a look here. I mean, I'm I'm pretty used to looking at contract. I don't. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, give me a moment. Whilst he's reading, then I'm just exploring the room. Is there anything just wonder, wondering about the room? Yeah. I'll um, dig through the, uh, the the remains of the construct bits. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they were a bit more uh, necromantic in means of getting working, but the actual mechanical bits are of great interest to Virok. Yes. Yep, you can certainly, you know, study them while this is all going on. Yeah. Mr. Ish Pops, is it? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Ash. Ish Cops. Mr. Ish Cops. Okay. I can't help but notice a few um, what appear to be errors. In this. Yes. Um. There's no. There's no gold on it. There's a blank bit where. Yes, we offered gold, but uh, no one seemed interested. Uh, we never negotiated the particulars, so. Uh, this it was doesn't not blank. doesn't surprise me for my. Uh, Newfound friends. They're 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 not used to these sort of things. Um, I see. <laughs> then I just thought of like, yeah. I right. thought it was odd, but I <laughs> obviously well, wouldn't he has question. no idea how much money worth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, how much did you offer them? Because uh, clearly the contract isn't complete. There, well, I a, just a... said I would I I would pay them, and they said okay. So. Mm, I mean, it's a blank space on a contract. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm willing to to pay well for this. Well, okay. So give give me a figure because at the moment, in my eyes, um, this contract is incomplete, which makes it null and void. Because you said that you're going to pay us with gold pieces, and you haven't told us how much gold pieces you're going to pay us. So if in you case... still want this contract to be relevant and current, then we need gold pieces to go trying to deceive or wrong you all here. I'm willing to offer 1,000 gold pieces for securing the library. It is of value to me, and you've shown me how well you can fight. That's quite a lot, isn't it? Only only, a, only 1,000. I mean, see, um, I mean, to, to, to J slash aka Wednesday, that's not a lot of money. Uh, if you're <laughs> trying to it's... haggle upwards, you can make a charisma persuasion check. Oh, where's me? Thank you, me. Uh, Hooray, on. the guy with charisma is doing something! <laughs> <laughs> charisma man! Uh, Here comes the one. What did you want to say? <laughs> no, that would be ridiculous. Persuasion. It couldn't possibly. There would no way be a one. No way. Not much better than one. It was a six. (laughs) (laughs) No, a thousand is a very generous offer. A very generous Mm -hmm. offer. Can I can I speak to my colleagues for a moment? Because yes, very well. This is this is something that they should have been aware of, and I need to make sure that they're happy to continue with the contract. Um, Well, and, and obviously I'll. Sorry? I understand. I understand. I understand. It was not our intent to deceive you. It's just since they never well, asked for a specific amount I mean, of money. I can appreciate that, but it's. I, I would expect um, a business. Uh, is it a man or a woman? Sorry. A man. I expect would have expected a businessman of any stature would have ensured that his contracts were correct before allowing the other party to go on their way, because this wouldn't hold. Tenure in a court of law, and you, you know, I mean, 
it's ridiculous there's a blank space uh are you are you trying to make like a intimidation thing here Mm, a, a little bit. I mean, I'm not wanting to. I'm not wanting to like piss him off, but I'm trying to make him realize. Yeah, it's, that it's maybe... like an intimidation of uh, I'm better at contracts than you, rather than like a I'm going to yeah. beat you up intimidation. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. sort of thing. We could yeah. do that one after. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's more for the fact that obviously I wasn't there last. Time. So if he feels like he's managed to get one over on. Yeah. I'm now trying to write that. Contractual dick swinging. Yeah, basically. Yeah, you can make a, an intimidation a check. Do, 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 do. <laughs> There's the, the name for the video, surely. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, at, at that, he's going to go, right, well, I see, I see. Uh, you seem better versed in this than me. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um... We could uh, increase the payment a little bit then for your for the trouble of having to redo the the contract. Um, an extra hundred gold. I tell you what. Leave it with me for one second. I need to speak to one of my uh, more learned colleagues, um, and I'll where am I? I kind of wander off to one side and ask uh, Tobias to come and join me out of earshot of this halfling group. Mm -hmm. Yep, the rest of their group kind of files into the, the room at this point as well. And I, and I just say to Tobias and I'm like, I can't believe you guys agree to this crap, but I, I think I've managed to talk with a better deal. So we're going to get a thousand gold. Did you get the books, did you? Well, this is what I was thinking, because I remember you mentioned about it from when I was listening from the bush. Um, <laughs> how about he's offering, he's, he said basically give us another hundred gold. I reckon I can haggle it here to say a thousand gold plus a single book. And I think that might be more beneficial to us than another hundred gold. I mean we're not wanting we're not wanting uh, for uh, gold out. It would the the book would be would have to be our choice to be of any value. One random mm. book or one book uh, of their choice it could potentially be nothing. I could try, but I don't know. Like, I think, I mean, I've got them on the, on, I've, books I've got them on the back foot a, a little bit at the minute because, you know, you have basically signed a contract which is incomplete, which luckily for us, he's not realised. So hence, he's now a little bit defensive. You know, I can ask you him. Can get, what the you hell can is get that? me the pick of the books in this. Then what, I will enchant book. your daggers again. <laughs> There will be such would, a powerful I mean, enchantment. Any any sort of enchantment would be fabulous, as you saw before. Without the enchantment, they're, they're pretty much useless. I mean, you got that table. I got that table good yeah. in my own hand. But yeah. anyway, let's <laughs> let's see what he says. I'll head back over. I don't know where he was. Where are they? Uh, I've, the I've system been, here, like amassing, yeah. finding icons. Ooh. Whoop. I'll move you. Um. So, uh, hang on a minute. Uh, <coughs> so, say, so, Mr. Um, uh, Ish Cops, I have, I have a deal for you. Yeah. Which I think it, it will save you a bit of money and it, it would benefit my colleague as well as yourselves. Right. Instead of a hundred more gold, let's go with a thousand gold mm -hmm. and then my learned colleague Tobias gets to pick. One book from the and one book only. Well, you see, the trouble with that is there is one book and one book only that I am primarily here for. Now, okay. I'm sure there'll be a great many of other books of interest uh, to your learned friend. Um, however, I am here for essentially one book. So you see my position? I do, I do. But you know, this is a once in a life by it. He's he's I mean he's a he's a good wizard, he is, but his whole thing's books, you know. He's like a bibliophile. He loves that shit. Um 
Uh, one I'm book... sure we'll be able to come up with some sort of agreement that he doesn't pick the book that you want, surely. Uh, yes, I get first choice. I choose a book. He chooses a book, and then I still get claimed to the rest of the library. And is, is Tobias close enough to hear this, or...? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, uh, I, I don't involve in petty things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to get you a book. I know, I know. Petty, I, you... I still don't get involved in negotiations with mundanes. Oh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll call him over then. I'll go, Tobias, um, he's happy for you to get a book, but he gets first pick. Are you happy with that? Uh, I believe that could be uh, uh, an agreement. Excellent. Then we can complete the contract, Mr. Uh, what was it? Ash. Ash, Ash, Ash Coops? Yes, Ash Coops. Mr. Ash Coop. Right, excellent. Uh, now, will you please all continue on up the tower once you've signed? Well, uh, well I want to see the contract. Right, Sala. <laughs> She, she sits down, she rewrites the whole contract with you kind of staring over her shoulder going, mm, mm, uh, this wording, this wording. And, I, and I'm like, oh, no, 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 I don't like that. No, I don't. That's okay. That You've spelled that wrong. You yeah. need to put a the in there. That, that needs a comma. Oh, dear God, man. Do Shall you... I write it? Do you want me to write it instead? Is this easy? No, no. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Do you try to alter the substance of it with this sort of like rewriting? Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm not happy with the the bit where it's like the we agree to carry out all the commands, directions, instructions, and or orders, all direct and indirect. Um, but I don't know if I'd be able to change that enough to. I think uh, to be able to to change that enough and create a loophole would be very difficult uh yeah i can let you roll for it but it won't be easy and if it goes wrong they obviously won't appreciate what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> consequences. Oh, consequences god damn it you um, love the consequences uh, I mean, I still haven't signed it yet, so no, no, that's fine. Like, that's I, what I'll do instead is I'll just try and confuse him enough that he changes it to what we've agreed, but yet he still doesn't ask me to sign it. He's still just those three. <laughs> uh, that's bitch. gonna be some deception. That's fine. I'm that's sure I can deceive not... this mother trucker. <laughs> what type of deception would you like? Just plain old deception. Just uh, charisma deception. Come oh, on, baby. Daddy needs to not sign. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> you you don't get away with it. No, I, don't. I didn't think I would. <clears throat> I just try to walk off once he's finished with it, and I'm like, excellent. So the um the contract is sealed. A thousand gold, and Tobias gets to pick uh, one book after you've picked your book. Um, obviously the wording. Excuse now is... me. Uh, you haven't signed yet. Uh, I don't. I don't have a pen. Oh, Do uh, we can help you. We can help you. Uh, just put a drop of your blood in this ink, God. and uh, then we'll... <laughs> I'll, I'll go over and use like. Oh, is there any blood on me off any of the golems <laughs> <laughs> that I can um, wring off the bandages into this blood? The golems don't really bleed so much. No, oh, that's a shame. I don't think you can get like enough. Not a worry. I will. I, I use the the where my hands are all bandaged off where I was impaled. Just like squeeze one of my hands a bit until a drop of blood comes out. Yep. Excellent. Uh, and if you could just sign here. I sign away. Well done. Thank you. No problem. Oh, I'm smiling there every time he's doing it. Mm. like, ah, tried to pull a fast <laughs> one, eh? Hey. I mean, we've got a thousand gold and Tobias gets to pick a book. So. Yeah. That's, that's good. You've done, you've done quite well. Uh, yeah. So, turns out when you let the uh, charisma party member negotiate, things go a little better. 
Not that much not better, though, really. Is. Thousand gold <laughs> bits is quite was. a lot of better. It was. Rolling sixes isn't that impressive. I was going to say, <laughs> for the charisma, charisma party member who rolls plus seven on <laughs> deception, <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> poop. It wasn't so much that we didn't let him negotiate as he was hiding in a bush at the time. That's true. That's, That's true. true. That's yeah. true. He, had, he, had, he could negotiate all he wanted. Luckily for us, you know, the villain didn't remember to fill in the blank, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, it was more that, because right. you didn't negotiate it, he, like, he thought, well, I guess I don't have to pay them. He was like, I was willing to pay them quite a lot of money, but if they don't want to be paid... <laughs> mm. uh, so, would you like to move on? Yes, I'll... Um... Yes. Do another mending on Crumper and give him another couple of hit points. One. <laughs> At least two. It's 2d6. See? Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> it's only come two in under the average roll. Amazing. Uh, okay. So you know as well, then... Hyperion's still giving me vision and or light. So Didn't Hyperion die? Yeah, he has, but he's still on there, so I can still see what he sees. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Through his cold, dead eyes. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> okay, in that More case... Like uh die, Perion. <laughs> could you arrange yourselves on the fireball. stairs? <laughs> Alright, then. So, me and Crumper I'll go up the stairs. Oh, gosh, they've changed how things work. <laughs> They've changed how the lighting works. No! I imagine it's like a magical staircase that if you walk up it, it gives you like a weird version of lift music. Okay. Uh, stay still. Stay still. Are you... uh -huh. Stop standing on top of each other. Just... Oh. Uh, okay. One moment. Oh. And away. Put you in the. We've vanished. Or something like this. Uh, y if you scroll a little sideways. Oh my God! It's all gone. Darkness. I can't see a thing. Scroll Darkness. Zoom out. Zoom, zoom out. out you have to zoom out. I've zoomed out. Oh no! Right. Okay. I'm twisted. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, let me, we can, you can, you don't have to be like that. Did I do that myself? I think I, I can, I fixed it. There we go. Fix Crumper as well. Hooray! Yay! Welcome, team, to the next floor! The, yeah. uh, the other party let you go on ahead once I again. bet they did. Yeah. Yes. Is there a sign or anything at the top of the stairs that tells us what this floor might entail? No, but there's some GM narration if you want. Yeah, I'd go with that GM narration. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. Once this was a bustling area where gnomes of the tower would eat, drink and revel after a long, hard day's work. Now cobwebs, mould, broken furniture, and dusty reminders of a time long past haunt this place. Excellent. So what you're saying is this was a halfling hideout, and everything's very small, so I'm crouched uh, over. You can't mix up halflings and gnomes just because they're both small. That's like super racist. Apologies, <laughs> being an eight foot tall Goliath. <laughs> It's hard to tell from up there, I understand. <laughs> right, um, I suppose we need to find this library then. Okay. I suppose. Oh, hold up, wait, 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 before, before you keep going. I forgot a thing. Those <laughs> on the previous floor, <laughs> floor, those of you who were investigating the workshop, uh, you found devices for smelting and refining metal. I got distracted by the contract thing. But, um, ah, cool. Smelting and refining metal is what you find. Uh, but there's nothing on this one. 
Or we haven't found anything on this one you yet. You haven't found anything here yet that's similar. I'm going to have a walk around. Yeah. Maybe there's some chairs or something up there. It's like a refractory. Oh, you mm. took all of me. You notice as you wander <laughs> around. Where did you go? <laughs> Uh, you notice as you walk through these these rooms that, although uh, clearly by the furniture, sort of gnomes were meant to, to live here, um, mm. the doorways and so on are still big enough for all of you to fit through. Right. Has this got a Mary Celeste vibe going on here, or does it look abandoned? It it looks abandoned, yeah. Are these things doors? <clears throat> yes. Ah. So there's two, right, so there's a door there, right, okay, so I'm looking at two doors at the minute. Yes. Right. Okay. Let's uh, get everyone together in the same place and then open the door. Split Why would we do that? <laughs> I'm going to try this door here. Mm-hmm. A small store open. cupboard. Right. Investigate that, see what's in it. <laughs> I will <laughs> investigate that then. Uh, you find just decayed crates and barrels. Yeah. I thought so. Take them. They could come in useful. <laughs> the decayed crates and barrels? If you want to be encumbered, think... you can be. I'm, I'm okay, I will not. <laughs> um, what about... Does anyone else want to go through a door? Is this a no, door? You... Straight no. Through. Doing a great job. Excellent. Yeah, I'll go door. through this door. This door yeah. leads to a small bedroom. Someone else is going to have to go in. I can't move me and Crumper at the same time. <laughs> it is small. a small bedroom. Hmm. Is there anything of interest in here? Uh, let's see. Uh, nope, afraid not. I imagine there's going to be another... Going from, you know, architectural designs, I imagine there's going to be another storeroom on top of me. So the top door. Yes, I'm sorry. Whoops. Nope. Oh, nope. oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> did anyone, did anyone get a, a vision there? <laughs> <laughs> a flash of inspiration. Very and, uh... I'll also, th there's there's nothing in this one either. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I imagine there's nothing there to do anything there. Cool. Oh. But sorry, I just, here, I just thought I'd open those doors. There's a lot of rooms with not a lot in them, so. Yeah. No. Although I found some stairs here, which could lead further up or to another area. Well, we should check out everything on this floor first. Okay, I come back down the stairs. And also, you can be on different maps if you want. You can go nope. up there. No, no. <laughs> I think I that's a trap. Mind. I'm happy I to think. facilitate that. <laughs> sure, you here. would. Yeah, that's a door there. Oh, there's a nice rug in this. Mm. I really brings the room together. So uh, the room where the whoops. Did Oops. it again. <laughs> uh, the room where there is something in, I'll just cut to the chase, is this one here. Is it the one we're in? Uh, no, the one next to it. Ah. <laughs> here there are many beds all lined up. Yes. All gnome sized. And yes. uh, you spot quite quickly that there is a chest hidden under one of the beds. Hmm. Go on, focus. Get that chest. Can I check to see if it's rigged? Or... Make an investigation <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> you sound a little bit paranoid there, focus. It's just years of practice. I uh, suppose the best person to be paranoid about something are, is you. That makes sense. 
Here comes the one. Oh. Oh, oh. no. Uh, it appears that the chest is guarded by a crossbow trap, which is activated oh. if the chest is moved and the wire is not disarmed, and you have found the wire. Is anyone good at this uh, disarming traps? I mean, what, what would it take? I mean, I've got some tools. I've got some thieves' tools. I've got some things here. I can have a go. Excellently volunteered. I'm going to make a safe <laughs> exit from the room while he's... And I yell through the door, it looks like a crossbow trap. Good luck. <laughs> Where's this crossbow? Uh, so, make a dexterity thieves' tools check. Dexterity I will thieves tools check. I will oh. help with some advice. A dexterity check, and if you have thieves tools, then if you have proficiency with proficiency. them, hold on, then, then uh, you can add your proficiency. Let me roll some Aren't advice down for. So it is. One. Can I yeah, provide can, some assistance? You can assist. Plus three. Cut the red wire. I'm. Uh, Oh no. I'm reading from Harris Bex's directory of helpful. varying dimensions. I mean some choice passages which will provide assistance in this trying time for you. I mean you did roll oh great. Um so you, you do not disable the trap, but you do not I trigger don't set it off. You don't trigger it, so that's great. <laughs> you have barely I, I, I managed to I feel like to I get distracted it. from Tobias's twittering on and I'm like Right. All I've got to do is this. And I'm like, <laughs> no, this hasn't worked at all. No, no, no. Harris Beck says it's got nothing to do with a crossbow. You've got to get in the mindset of the wire. Wire is the key. <laughs> do you know what wire is? Hang on, hang on. It's in here somewhere. Wire. <laughs> <And> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try and look for where this crossbow is. It's uh yeah it's it's under the under the bed as well. Can I take the bolt out of the crossbow? I mean, you could. <laughs> can I just, yeah. I'd I'd like to just disarm the crossbow. So I that mean it that's kind fire. of what you've been trying to do, but oh, it's right, it's all okay. like a little bit wired in, and you're not sure if trying to just straight up remove it this may trigger it. You can do that. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Good. 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 Make sure you this. get really up close and have a good look at it. All right. Do you want me to do that again? Do it. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just, Virk, just come on out. You're going to injure yourself. Just come on out. All right, then. All right, then. Right. I use me. There's and nothing in the stupid the chest. chest. It's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this triggers. Four bolts to fire and thud into where someone would be if it was a person opening the chest. However, there is no one there because it is Mage Hand. Ooh, spooky. The chest is now open. Oh. Why didn't you do that to begin with? I That's wanted to give you an opportunity shit. to grow, to learn. You haven't got I much. I stand out and I tower over your... and I'm like, that is not funny. With your <laughs> mechanical tampering and... And it would have been Playing fine. It. Would have been fine. I'm rifling through the chest rather than... You arguing. weren't twittering yes. on in okay. this stupid book and I slapped down on the book in the ground. I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna whisper you what you find. <laughs> I scrabble around and go to get the book and like sort of hold it protectively. Like, and never! I slap it down again! Like, never! Twittering like on! I just don't understand. Try and get the feeling of the wire? Are you insane? That's why you failed. You couldn't get the wire out of into your head. You were fo focused on the crossbow. Yes, because it was pointed at my face. <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault. You sh uh, why didn't you go out and get it? I've sorted it. I, I, I realise that now. Wait, what's focus got? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, what's he doing? What you got there, Focus? I'm just uh, putting stuff in my pockets going, uh, <laughs> trash. <laughs> nothing, nothing of concern. Right. Well, there's... N well, 
why was it so why was it protected so much then i don't understand who can say let's move on are you telling us something that are you not telling us something focus um <clears throat> i pocket some items but i present some that say look at these and it's <laughs> marked playing cards and a note which i will read I've put it in uh, your handouts, oh, right, but I, I will put it in everyone's handouts if you have shared Let's it with the look. group. Yes, without reading it, which is probably a stupid thing to do. But... Mysterious note. Are you gonna Are you gonna read it out, Mark? Or uh, yeah, I can do. So this is Alia Rootle Bootle's letter, apparently. Uh, I know we didn't leave on the best Sorry, terms, what was but that? it won't be long now before <laughs> I've enough to settle my debt and get the jack clothes off our backs. I can't wait to get back home. Production has really ramped up over the last couple of weeks. Quartz Toil has had some sort of big military contract come through. Soldier constructs very hush-hush. I'd be out the door if anyone found out I wrote this, but folk know not to go poking around my stuff since Nagel almost lost a finger trying to steal back his losses from our game. Speaking of, I've not seen him for a few days. People pull all nighters at the workshop, sure, but not this long. Besides, I've never known Nagel to do a hard day's work in his life. Could you ask his sister if she's had any word from him recently? I've been hearing bad stories from upstairs. Quartz has been acting plain weird, even compared to his usual charming self. He's working the crew hard for this contract, but it looks like their days are numbered anyway from what I've been hearing about this new mechanical workforce. All I know is I'm out of here as soon as I'm paid. Etc, etc, etc. That's, uh... Yeah. Interesting. So, upstairs, I assume there's some sort of horrendous, even worse construct for us to... Almost well, it says it's by. a workforce construct, so how, how bad can that be? I'm sure it's fine. Yes, but which constructs have we so far encountered? Exactly. The workforce ones? Or the soldier ones? Well... I don't see any weapons on the ones we've encountered. Is there anybody any good at setting up unionization? Because it mean, might help with worker drones. I mean, you're well, the one, one. The charming oh, yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, why don't you have a discussion with it? How did oh, unions work out in your place? Sounds pretty illegal under your uh, family's government. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is. Um, not... I investigate the playing cards. Is there anything significant about that? Uh, they are marked. They're cheaty cards. Oh, oh. right. Oh. So gambling's uh, not uh, smiled upon under the religion, so I'll be taking these well, for orderly destruction. Technically, marked cards isn't gambling. It's true. It's a sure thing. Let me just read a parable about that uh, very thing where it says, uh, you should shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was actually going to read a parable. I was I was terrified there. <laughs> no, I thought that was the best possible outcome. <laughs> and, um, I suppose we'll head up these stairs then. Well, is there anything? What about these dragon tooth bolts? Are, are these significant? Because... These what? The what did you say you had? <laughs> Six dragon tooth bolts. Well, I'm upstairs now, apparently. <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you? No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just talking to myself. I'll come out of the room. Yeah. Do you okay. have anything in your sack of wisdom about this? What? <laughs> how effective dragon tooth is on? Let's find out, shall These we? These are very nice crossbow bolts, like the ones that were in the trap. Oh, interesting. I actually have a crossbow, so uh, I'll be keeping them as well. Okay. Um... Who else has a crossbow? <laughs> uh, not relevant information, I don't think. Oh, you son of a bitch. So, Have you these, hit anything with uh... a crossbow yet? Let me find them. I the... did. I'll send you the details. Okay. Ugh. 
Ooh. Aren't you glad you didn't continue trying to open that? <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> now I am. So yeah, they they function like normal crossbow bolts, but they are difficult to remove. Yeah, so they're barbed. Mm. Yes. A medicine check to remove. And you're really good at medicine, aren't you, Virok? I am the best at medicine. It was that elf you helped, wasn't it? I helped him. <laughs> <laughs> when is this? What happened to that elf again? <laughs> I helped him, and he's fine now. So let's let's not worry about it, shall we? Shall we proceed? Yes. Gentlemen. I've gone upstairs, and I think I can see one of those constructs ahead of us. Uh, I'm heading up these stairs as long as Virok is ahead of me. <laughs> I do not <laughs> wish to be at the front. Okay. Like this. Uh, th those stairs don't go up. Those stairs go down. Oh, okay. Go down. There's a little These confusion the there side. in the middle. It's the ones to the side. The, the ones the... there. Let's see. Yeah, I think there's some over here, isn't there? Yes. It all go stairs, on, stairs on either side, but I suggest we probably all go the same. Are we going to the left or the right stairs? Well, we've oh, gone I've, left. I've gone right. But by all means... I've go gone right. right, but it takes us up to the same place as those two idiots. Uh... Whoa! Hold on. Okay. Sorry, I, I meant um, Tobias and Vera. The what's, what's slightly humid, uh, sort of uh, like oh no, sorry. The um, the cold air blowing off the sea up towards you assaults you as you walk onto the tower's observation deck. Its low stone walls are fit to protect a small creature from the dizzying drop to the rocks far below, but less so someone of human height. Oh, great. Two <laughs> figures, like sentries, move slowly in a clockwise fashion around the tower. They look out over the surrounding mountainside in a state of constant vigil, stopping at the northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest in a half turret shaped section of the observation deck. Oh, cool. Um, well, if it's going clockwise, then I suppose we'll wait for it to move again. Mm hmm. So they Try stop and... here and then they move kind of clockwise. Hmm. Off. Do we even want to be up here? Uh, I think this you? is the only way to get there. That's the thing. To get any, any higher. There was no one. Uh, there was no other way up there, was there? In that uh, level, there was the stairs, but it's probably just going to take you to the other side of this tower on the on the right hand mm -hmm. side. The spiral staircase didn't continue any higher, did it? No, that went back down. No, that just went straight back down. <laughs> if you're sneaking around, oh, no, <laughs> you're going to make us do a stealth check. I'm thinking about it. Oh, oh no! no that one. I mean, I'm definitely gonna be sneaking around. <laughs> uh, so I think uh, a stealth check with advantage, please. You have advantage because you are uh, you. They move in a predictable <laughs> way. <laughs> I the am walking <laughs> towards them in the opposite direction. Oh dear! Hey, no, no, it's this way, guys. It's this way. <laughs> Do you want to start oh, the God. fight there? Because that's how you... <laughs> and that's how the fight started. Oh. I did there not roll okay. the 20. Stealth, stealth Cleric, 15. Okay, you know what? This one that you're sneaking behind, it has to roll its perception because it's actively looking. And they have a big Excellent. perception bonus, but if it crit fails, Jay could be all right. Mm. Did not crit fail. Mm. In fact, you were all spotted. Oh, balls. <laughs> I think Tobias knows what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big, big old 11. Oh! oh. oh. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Going well.
This should really be called Roll 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you taking the... How? <laughs> Roll 10 unless it's the GM. <laughs> With a paid away nonsense. I've capped your rolls at 10. You can't roll more than 10. Not in I, my game. I was fine. I was fine. I was fine. All right. Well, if you can annihilate the uh, this construct, the second one, we'll all be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Okay, well, um, I have one it's gonna spell. going to be a dash. Clang, 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 clang. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh-huh. Uh, and that's Vino, it's done. You've, you've the Virok. walked away. Right then. Uh, well, Virok will... Um... Yes. Yes, that's a good... What will Virok do? Hit it. Right, Virok will hit it. Uh, raise his shield up and raise his ha get his hammer ready and hit it with a hammer. Ho ho! That's a hit. Which does six damage. <laughs> and then Crumper is also going to attack it. What die roll for Crumper again? He gets a plus four. Should we make Crumper like a character sheet or something? <laughs> so we can macro stuff? Would that help? Potentially. He missed anyway. He rolled yeah, a nine. That's fine. So that's fine. And then that is my turn. Uh, Just to check. Oh, yeah. Your Warhammer is magical. Okay. It is, yes. Cause I got it, my, cause I got it off those dudes. Yup. You need to do my daggers, Tobias. I did. I did it earlier. <laughs> do it quickly. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. Do it quickly. And um, yeah, I sort of like raise my shield, ready for the uh, ongoing assault. The hell? I think. I don't think this one notices. It's like really far away. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we can't. Surely it can't see us yet. Yeah. So that one just keeps bimbling around very slowly clockwise as its patrol path is. Jay. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> I can't get past I this can't one. I just imagine him getting out on the on the thing going, It's bloody windy out here. <laughs> <laughs> and that just goes clang 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 clang. Um yeah. Um hmm. Okay. What can I do? Uh, Could you do me a wisdom saving mm. for the construct saving? Yes, I could. And it'll be saving. What is it again? Uh, Thirteen. I will try vicious a uh, bug off. <laughs> Pay to win. So, so I come out and obviously I'm like, oh my goodness, it's windy and my hair is blowing backwards and I look fantastic. And then I see this construct thing and instead of shouting vicious mockery at it, I I am kind of having a good. Bug. Instead, I just go, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, and just start having a panic attack. Um, um, and I'm, I'm just going to move away a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on! Okay. And that's me. Uh, so at the end of your turn, you, you move backwards uh, away from the monster. Oh, no. Uh, Can't help but feel you attract the other monster. Well, I still can't so, see it. No, so... no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. It's not that. It's not that. It's much, Excellent. much worse. It's worse because you feel <laughs> emanating from the tower itself 
towards you a wave of magical force oh. assaulting you. Balls. You must what? make a strength saving throw. Oh, what? Uh... You save. <laughs> you have not been pushed. <laughs> Thank Christ. <sighs> okay. Tobias. Uh, well, first, obviously, I will mash myself as close against the inner wall as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and hold on to something. There's not really uh, a lot to hold on to. Uh... <laughs> We've just embedded your fingernails into the wall. Yep. <laughs> whatever, just, I whatever I can do. Stone. <laughs> Anything, Anything that could possibly give me an advantage, maybe. Uh, uh, I then, uh, then I will I will look, look at Jay, and then just um, Jay, get, Jay in there, get in there, and then I'll cast um, prestidigitation on his daggers, uh, <laughs> and as bright as they poss I can possibly make them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. That's all I've got. That's all you've Excellent. got. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, God. Focus. Please focus. Please focus. Do something. <laughs> well, I'll try, but I can't overcome the inbuilt. You can only roll a six in this game <laughs> system. <laughs> so I will cast this. He rolled. He got a six in total. He did. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's gonna be a miss <laughs> that's fine you're just summoning it yeah and then as my bonus action i'll attack again Can it I have went my... so well the first time the first time was just the calibration yeah that's yep. right oh, a this one is, this is amazing well stuff um it's gonna be a i don't know it'll be a mace Okay. I'm sure it's even a weapon with that one. <sighs> it is a herring. <laughs> it is shiny. Oh, now do I spawn the mace or do I spawn a herring? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did roll a one, so I think there's been something gone wrong. Something, herring. Has, something has gone terribly, terribly wrong. Some yeah, world yeah. class tomfoolery here, civilian gotta be a, a herring <laughs> and for whatever reason it's an alive herring which <laughs> for some reason on the, on the doesn't ground. now know why it's not in the lake anymore <laughs> i appear to have prayed to the wrong god uh, <laughs> didn't you admit yourself that your gods are fake no my god's real oh, sorry apologies i think this is a oh i'm terribly sorry i appear to have called the wrong number <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. where, do, where, do you, where do you spawn the herring uh, yeah, that'll do. This, this, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Good. Well. It's going well. That was tragic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I think, yeah, it, it hasn't hit. So, as a bonus action, you can move the weapon up 20 feet and repeat the attack against the creature within 5 feet of it. Right. You can try again. Here we go. Diddly diddly diddly. Diddly. Critical. If it does well, right it might there. get upgraded. Drum roll! Oh. That's a miss. <laughs> See if it does well, it might get upgraded. <laughs> the herring suddenly remembers it's meant to be a sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really didn't. It mm. really didn't remember. Uh, okay, okay, and at the end <coughs> of your turn, uh -huh. you feel a magical force emanating from the tower. Make a strength save. Uh oh. Please roll more than ten. Tension mounts. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Is everyone doing this? Nope. No, just, just you. you. Just you. You managed to cling on to the tower. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> right. This okay. construct. I yeah. rolled a 10, the maximum. <laughs> this construct has seen me 
Um, uh... Okay, it's going to use its steel claw to slash. Me? Yes. Um, as a... Crumper will try and deflect it as and poses disadvantage on the attack roll. Okay. Let's roll one. Thank God. Roll two. Oh no. 